In America, on July 1st, every year, over 5 million gay people lose their job due to Pride being over. We are going to be part of that statistic unless we can get to 15,000 YouTube subscribers by the end of the month, and we need your help to do that. Do your part, like, comment, subscribe. And most importantly, support us. Otherwise, we're on the street. Welcome on into Out and About. I'm being held here against my will. Joey's being held here against his will. We participated in the Billy Football Science Fair. It was very fun. Um, and now we're here. I was in Boston for a Celtics game, as well as some charity work at the Wilbur Theater. It was very fun. Do you know that I don't never went to a science fair because I was in special education and they wouldn't, what are you they talking they wouldn't about? let us have like knives and things. What kind of special education? I was in the worst kind of, of special education. What do you mean? Special education. Like I was in a secret room with only three other kids on the short bus. How old were you? All the way through high school. You won prom king from the special ed class? Yeah. I, yeah. Many people forget that Joey was prom king. Prom king. Yeah. How'd that happen? Who was your date? Was that the girl you fingered on the couch? No. I never fingered her. But you thought about it? No. You thought about her fingering you? I thought about Sandra fingering me with her mask. <laughs> so Sandra had quite the weekend. She ran into someone that we know. Are we allowed to talk about your issues that's happening right now or no? No. No. Oh, she said she doesn't care. Oh, it's did something. It did ha okay, so Sandra is somber. She texted me this morning. Now, normally when we wake up, if there's not a compliment texted Sandra She makes us send her compliments. So I said you don't have a camel toe in those shorts today. Right, and I said your legs look less hairy than usual. Yeah, but that still didn't cheer her up. Apparently, there's some trouble, and I'm, I'm, I'm her name. I'm gonna I'm gonna use a, a code name for her boyfriend because we don't want him soon to be ex potentially. Yeah, his name's Jerome. Right. So, her, Jerome, did he? No. What are the categories? His name is sensitivity. Sh Schmortnoy. <laughs> Was it sensitivity issues? Was he not being sensitive to your Tell feelings? Us, baby, we're doing relationship therapy right now. Are you spotting? Are you in the rag? What's happening, girl? I thought there was a time of the month when I first came in because she had that look about her. Do you know the, how long it took me to get your tampon in the club the other night? I went like we went crazy. To the, the club in Boston, he goes, we're literally, it's in the middle of like I have my own, I have my own security like guard. Fist pumping. So we have our own security guard. Best table there it was fantastic. Joey walks up to me. He goes, Pat. I go, oh, did something happen? He goes, you're spotting. And he, and he handed me a I tampon. Then I undid it and I put it in Gaz's drink and Gaz chugged his drink. Maybe that's the new thing. Like, remember in college you put a coin in a cup and then they have to drink it? Maybe it's that, but with a tampon now. Ladies, yeah. drinking game alert. Yeah. How long did it take you to get it? Tell tell everyone how much fun we had in Boston. We had so much fun. We're not allowed to bring up, um, it was just Colton Hines' ex-husband. Right. He's on the second part of this. Uh, oh. We'll have to bleep that. Just <laughs> okay. the name. He's on the, he's on the second part. Make a note. He's on the second part of the show. Colton Haynes. Um, he wrote a memoir. In Miss, it, Miss, Mer Miss America. What's it called? Miss, Mer Miss Memory Lane. Miss, Miss Memory Lane. Miss Memory Lane by Colton Haynes. It was like very. Now, I didn't particularly go cover to cover, but every excerpt that I read was, was like. Juicy. It was scandalous and it was juicy. We had a lot of fun with him. Gorgeous man. Gorgeous. Back to my party. Right. Um. So this weekend, if. You weren't privy. Snoopy and I had our, as uh, if you don't know who Snoopy is, Snoopy is Sno Snooky from the Jersey Shore is my best friend and we do our own podcast together. We have for many moons, way before I worked here. Um, so we do our live show. So Pat was nice enough to donate her time and, and um, her charity work to come over and host a dating game at the show in it Boston. It was so fun. Like yeah. the girls were so crazy. Like everyone was having the best time ever. Yeah. It's the first girls night out. That's how we say it's our messy bestie tour. So you come with your besties. We had one in the Foxwoods and we had it in Boston. Wait, and we you have one this Saturday, don't you? We have this one. No, we have one on this Saturday the 25th. Where? At Borgata Theater tickets, in Casino, people. hello in New Jer in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and tickets are available at nicolepolizzi.com or you can go on Borgata website probably and buy them. Yeah, um, but it's going to be just as big of a show. That's going to be the last show of the summer, and then we're taking the summer off, and then we'll be back in the fall. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I'm a I'm a maybe to AC if anyone cares. Oh, come to AC. Mario will be there. He'll produce the show. It's the day before Pride. I'm worried that he's not going to show up. Yeah, I'm I feel worried. like I need to go to make sure no, Joey that, gets back No, you go safely. to be like a bodyguard for Joey. Because he goes, I go, you need to get home. He goes, well, I'll just I'll just stay up all night. Yeah. I go, you're going to walk in the fucking... I haven't had my mid-year mid review yet, so maybe yeah. I'll use that. Well, yeah. I might have to... I may have to take an airplane. Not an airplane, a chopper. So um, Dave Portnoy's um, um, aviation um, uh, executive that works here, Spider, mm. let me know that he can get me a good deal. What's the deal? How much? How much did you get from AC to New York? Probably like fifteen hundred bucks. That's what he said. He quoted me fifteen. I said I'll do it for a thousand. I'm not paying anymore. I not a dollar you more. on an airplane on, on a, a helicopter like alone, Diana Ross coming, like, running off my, running off the stage with Snooki's wig on on a helicopter alone coming in just getting off with a scuffed pump. Yeah. <laughs> 
just that blood or sugar coursing through her veins after a long night. I would fucking so, like, listen, die. Yeah, I get dropped at the at the uh, at our friend's place at the Empire State Building. So you would you would be Diana Ross at the Super Bowl. Yeah, and I get I, I get out. I would have my pride, my fucking rainbow pride. Oh, should we wear something uh, real? F-ing? For what? Bleep that. Uh, for the for the parade. <laughs> what are we gonna wear for the parade? I don't know. We have a lot of. We have a lot of people marching, some very big names here at Barstool Sports. Yeah. We have a certain executive or two that may come. Executive realness? Swerving. Maybe that's what the theme is, executive realness. Do they ask you who the hottest DILF is at work uh, for Father's Day yet? DILF? No. Do they ask you, Marty? Mm-mm. They're I doing know. that for what? Do they ask you, the Sandra? Do they ask me? Who's, who do you say? I say Big Cat. Yeah. Who's the hottest DILF for you? I don't even know who has kids. Everyone yeah, has kids tough. besides us. Who? And Dave Portnoy. Name like three. Rome. Large. Fucking Smitty. Smitty. Kate. Kate's the hottest DILF. <laughs> <laughs> hottest DILF, easily Kate. Um, Big Cat. Who? KFC. Jersey Jerry. Jersey Jerry. Jersey Jerry KFC. Jerry, KFC. Um, little Sass probably has 10 kids. Yeah. But babies. Probably. Brandon, Brandon little Walker. Sass, little Sass has been bottoming lately for Pride. I know. Wasn't that nice of him? It was so sweet. We talked about it. The yeah. other day at Drake's. So <laughs> but you know nice. what he said? No, not enough people you'll know this, that he, uh, a few years ago, he was actually 16 at the time, so this is a little bit taboo. He got a tattoo. <laughs> you are kidding me. I'm not. I got a tattoo um, in spring break, and it was in um, Panama City Beach. And what did it say? Well, it just says it's two W's or two M's right on either side of his asshole. Okay. So it says mom, if you look at it like that, but then when he's bent over getting fucked, it says, wow. Oh my God. <laughs> I remember you telling me about that yeah. at the club in Boston. Yeah. It was fun. So that's the new game. You put a tampon in someone's drink. Um, <laughs> did you have fun in Boston? I love Boston. The thing is, every time I go over there, I'm working. Last time I was there, I was I was living in a, a fucking motorhome, and I didn't get much much time to hang out um, because you know. But we we actually did go to a lovely restaurant, which I thought I was gonna hate because it's just not my vibe. I'm very upscale. You know me and your friends are very, my friends are very upscale. We like to do uh, like fine dining, like exquisite glassware. Um, raw, raw crudo. Like I like, I like if there's not, if there's not at least four raw, um, seafood preparations on the appetizer menu, the crudo, mm-hmm. an oyster or something like that. Like, I know I'm not going to have fun. I like to have a martini. I like to have exquisite glassware. How ambiance. many tequilas do you think you had over under 15 on the night? Hard. Which over. night? Club night. Saturday well, they're, night. D- they're doubles. So I probably had about 14 doubles. So that, <laughs> that 28 drinks, <laughs> give or take the ones I spilled. I, um, t- I couldn't even like. I was drinking so much; it was disgusting. Shots, shot. Well, the restaurant- thats a big thing. If you go to see, they come out with they come out um, with. Were you at, you were at Foxwoods with us? No, no, thank. I would have been so Foxwoods. They came out. We were at some other club, and like they had this big sign, and some girls were on the guy's shoulders, and they had all these sparklers, and our names were on this big sign. Says welcome, and I never had that before. Shout out the restaurant we went to. I don't remember Empire. Oh, Empire! Oh my God, Empire! Empire. It's Empire. so good. And then Boston wa- Empire fantastic it turns into like a little like loungy like club thing and then when we the were ready to go so good. security surrounded us and escorted us through the back door to the club right up next to the DJ booth yeah it was very fun um, my sister was there David told her or Guess. Joey told oh. my sister's boyfriend that he wanted to eat his ass yeah which was lovely um, Gaz was there in all his glory, knocking down. Gaz, Gaz had a lot of fun. Gaz is a fun I'm guy to glad, party I'm with. I'm glad he came. He's so fun to party with. If you haven't drank I think with he Gaz, got stuck with the bill for some reason. What are you talking about? Did he? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we can cut that. Yeah. <laughs> Did he? How much was the bill? Well, there was no bill, but I, I don't think we tipped the lady. Oh, we oh, did please. Sure Gaz can tip the lady. And I think he did tip the lady. Yeah. I t- sure no, actually, I took, I took care of it. No, you didn't. So, yeah. No, it was fun. It was very fun. It was an awesome time. And then um, now we're just gearing up for pride. So it took me six hours to get home. From where? Boston. You draw. Oh, you had to, she, he had to drive Snooki's car. Her minivan. Minivan all the way home. And as this airs, we will have already been on Watch What Happens Live. If I go, I don't think I'm going to go. You're going <laughs> to dip. <laughs> you're you're going to dip out. How um, do you think it's going to go? What's our line? I don't know my line. We don't know how to describe our show. Like they're like, you need one line. Like, what's yeah. your show? We don't know what it is. What are we gonna wear? So Fire Island? No. Do you want to go to Fire Island? Only if there's a house. What are we gonna wear on Watch What Happens Live? Should we match? I like the idea of matching. They'll be like cor- Maybe color coordinated. But I'm afraid people would mistake us for cater waiters if we matched. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, we're not actually. gonna wear like we're not gonna wear a vest and like a little bow tie, are we? No, we wear tuxes. Should we just be topless with with bow ties on, like Chip Nils? You know, at on Watch What Happens, I always have like hot topless guys. What if you go? Do you mind if we go topless? And it's yeah. me and Joey topless. No, they wouldn't like it. We flipped the script. 
Yeah, you go, now you are, you are body positive. Is that correct? <laughs> um, I'm just going to wear something slimming. Um, maybe like a panty shield, a panty girdle. I want to sign panty Con- shields at our live show. Control That's like- <laughs> top pantyhose. Uh, I'm sorry? Control top pantyhose. Uh-huh. Do you think I should get a spray tan before? Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's risky because if it a doesn't risk. come out, if it doesn't come out right, you're gonna look like oh, you're gonna look like Donald Trump. Uh, literally everyone that goes on that fucking show if it has a fucking spray tan. All those hookers from the housewives, all those fucking gavones from uh, Gavone. Jersey What's a and Gavone? Gavone, like a you know like a fucking Guido, yeah, jerk off mafia guy. Um, so should we get a spray tan? I would, I've never had one. I feel like I look orange. We have a bunch of interviews this week, so it'd be funny. And we don't know when they're coming out, so it'd be funny if like there were just normal episodes mixed in with y'all being very tan. Oof. Oh, do you guys want mini episodes? That's what we wanted to ask. We had a big, we had a big meeting last week about our show. Should they, I get a penile implant? A pa- a packer? No. Can they make your dick chip, like longer and bigger? It keeps going. It keeps getting inverted with his head under arm. What are you talking about? Inverted. It goes inside my body. Your dick goes completely in your body. Not completely. The little head sticks out. The little one sticks? Yeah. Well, he was looking at Billy Football and I saw it growing in his pants at this thing. He looks very nice. He grabbed the back of Billy's shirt and he he lifted it up. And Billy goes, what are you doing? He goes, oh, you had something on your back. You had something on your shirt. I got it. (laughs) Um, He looks very handsome today. Mm. Marty looks handsome. Sandra Sandra looks handsome. Yeah. I can't wait for you to take Sandra looks like she just... um, Went through a natural disaster and she's sitting in the hospital waiting room for like waiting for a bed. We thought it was she's that time wrapped of month. Up her energy was so towel. off. Her energy was <laughs> off today. We thought it was Joey said she Joey offered her a pad. I know what it is. She did MDMA all day all weekend and, and you um, probably and did fucking, you and, 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 uh, the Hamptons. And now she now she, her equilibrium's all off. Is that what it is? You got holes in your brain, dear? Come on, talk to daddy. What's what's wrong? You know, were you doing booty bumps with the girls? <laughs> <laughs> No, they're not doing booty bumps. They're called cootie bumps, and it's right in the cooch. You know what the new bump is I'm so excited about? What? Caviar bumps. What is that? Oh, my God. I'm so excited. This is a new thing. If you haven't heard about it yet, I've seen it. learn yeah. about it. If you like caviar, as much, as much caviar as I do, like I always loved caviar before I was even like- Wealthy. Wealthy. Um, but now- Five seconds ago, I'm poor. <laughs> well, I like to keep them on their toes so no one robs me. Right. Um, <laughs> now, she, now she'll walk around. <laughs> so normally when you're in the nightclub, you put a bump of Coke on your hand and you snort it off like this. This is a caviar bump. You put a bump of caviar because it's just as expensive. And you snort it? No, you eat it. But caviar is just as expensive as cocaine and they use a little spoon. So it's very, it's a play on doing drugs. Like, oh, I'm so rich. I can do a bump of caviar in the club. So now there are people putting bumps, little, little, little dollops of caviar on their hand and going. And Which one it. do you prefer? I would like cocaine instead. Right. Yeah. Well, the coolest thing about doing drugs is showing other people that you're doing drugs and yeah. talking about right. it. So, well, yeah. yeah, you don't want to do it by yourself. What else do we have? What did you think about Colton? Honestly, let's talk shit about him before he goes. I on. thought he you wanted to. You wanted to. He was very open and honest with us. You could tell, like he was yes. buttoned up. He was on GMA in the morning. That's not a drug. It was, it's a talk show. And on the Today Show. And then well, what happened was I think he came here from GMA. It was was like a a breath of fresh fresh air. air. Oh my god, you owe me a beer. He was coming from GMA, so it was a breath of fresh air for him because it's very serious. He was talking about his um, addiction. He was talking about his um, his his tumultuous relationship with his family and um, all the things that he went through. His hardships growing up and becoming a a, you know he you'll read the book if you go to go go, miss uh, miss Mister what's it called. Mr. Mister. No, Do, Miss, US. Miss Misunderstood. What's your called? Miss Memoir. Miss Memory Miss Lane. Miss Memory Lane. Memoir by you Colton read about Hines. it. She was prostituting at 14 years old. She was. <laughs> she was go-go dancing with a fake ID and, and, and rural and then Kansas. A 41-year-old and rural, police and rural Wichita. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she's, a, she's a wild, but you're going to like the book. She's crazy. But for that, I think it was a breath, breath of fresh air. She's talking yeah. about all those heavy, heavy things. And when she got here and she was going to just kiki with her two squirrel friends. And it was like, it was, it was, it was fun to break up with their day. And to come here. No, notice I didn't use pronouns. Why? Well, because um, I'm not sure of mine just yet. Hmm. Well, I'm excited. We got a lot going on this month. We're going to start doing mini episodes. Are we allowed to do that? Mini episodes? Here comes Marty with the excuse. I mean, I would I, I would go. love to. We, we've we been cutting back here. There's I'm on a lot of different shows right now, so we're okay. going to try. We're going to try. Sandra, look at this. This is when I was on the red carpet. They said, Joe Giudice poses. They thought I was Juicy Joe from The Real Housewives. Uh, did you see him screaming at great. someone that video of him online? No. He like went up to a car with a tenant who's owed him four years worth of rent. Oh, I fucked scre- him up too. And was screaming at him like crazy. And this guy wasn't doing it. It was really pretty fucking wild. Well, if someone owed you four years worth of rent, I'd fuck him up too. It's like, he just, he's like, I I've, I've pay, I owe you six months. Everyone was like, that's still bad. If you owe me Owing one month, months. you're getting fucked up. Get right. the fuck out of here. Don't fuck with my money. Do I'm you, rich, but I'm not that rich. Do you have mob connections? My family was in the mob. Oh, which one? I can't say his name. A few of them. I felt my, 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 um, oh, I can't talk about that. Talk about it. I have family that was killed in the mob. Who? They're dead. What are they going to do? 
I can't tell. That's okay. the first rule of the Fight Club. <laughs> first rule of the Fight Club. Okay, so uh, it was man <laughs> it was <laughs> manscaped. Joey, you are a bush guy. Typically, I love a full bush. However, it's summer and you got to stay cool. You got to stay clean. You got to you know. I like a bush. I ready. like a big bush, but I like a, a nice smelling bush. Right, and that's why I like the ball preserver or the right. crop preserver. So that's part of the whole platinum package. Oh, I got it, girl. That you can get with Manscaped. It's called the Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0. Their brand new platinum package is the biggest bundle mm -hmm. they've ever offered, giving you a bulk discount on Manscaped's tops products. I like the word bulk and talking about crotches at the same time. So what you get is you get the Lawnmower 4.0, the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, the grossest possible thing you can see on a guy's when they have fucking nose hairs coming out. It's disgusting. Clean up around your nose. You get the body wash, you got the ultra premium two-in-one shampoo and conditioner and the ultra prima, premium deodorant crop preserver. So as Joey says, your balls don't smell like <laughs> mushroom soup. Um, and you got the ball spray toner, the anti-chafing boxers, the shed travel bag to hold your goods while you're traveling. It's the platinum package 4.0 <laughs> from Manscaped covers all the bases head to toe so you're not a disgusting pig in the summer and you know what just keep if you had a little dick too it's important to shave because you get that optical inch you know what I mean the bigger the bush the smaller the dick so you're gonna want to tone everything down you well no the smaller the, the bush the bigger the trunk what are you talking about the smaller the shorter oh, the your bush is the trunk the dick's the trunk that's true. Um, so right now, listeners of this show can get 20% off and free shipping with the code about at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and to use code about. They were lucky. I was lucky enough to have them send some to here. I love um, it. Oh, and ladies, you should get this for your husbands too. Especially, oh, yeah, if like, especially if you've been married and it's like, Ugh, I'm sick of this dick. Change how it looks. Shave the bush and on your man. It's a brand new dick, and everything smells so good. Yes. It smells like the hottest guy. That's a good thing for Father's Day. It might be, you might not even come before Father's Day, but do it now. You get the twenty percent. You can really reshape how your husband's cock and balls look, and that will ignite a fire in the bedroom. And when you ignite a fire in the bedroom, it leaves both of you satisfied. And when you're both satisfied, that leads to a happier home. Happier home equals better health. Better health equals happier kids. And then just like that, Manscaped has fixed all of your marital problems. Thank you to Manscaped. Um, should we get to Colton or do you have anything else you'd like to, any, any other yes, li lies like you'd say. like to spew? I'm not on selling this lies. I'm not spelling lies. You're spilling tea. No. What are you, hey, everyone. Okay. Listen up. Oh, listen up. <laughs> if you're in the tri-state area this Saturday, you have plans. So don't make plans anywhere else. You're coming to see me and Trish yes. at a rooftop at, in, in, um, at the, the Bradford rooftop. It's in Bridgewater, New Jersey, right next to the Bridgewater Mall. It's in the AC Hotel. There's a hotel there. Trish and I will be performing for our Pride event on the roof. It is so cute. The cocktails are insane. They're doing three specialty cocktails. They're doing a champagne one, a tequila one, and a vodka one. And it's not like city prices either. You're going to get like your money's worth. The food the is amazing. Music is fantastic. Beautiful rooftop. The weather's supposed to be incredible. Yes. And, and, and old old man and Trish are going to be on one. Yeah. And we're going to be sleeping over there. So get a room. And I'm sure we can all end up back together, have an orgy, whatever it is. It's free to get in. Just make a reservation. Go on Resi to make a reservation. The Bradford rooftop. It's at the AC Hotel. Um, what time does it start? 8 p.m.? It starts at 8 p.m. So get a reservation. You can eat and then we can come keep. At the, at the party after it's a big kind of thing you have a little bite here you get up from the bar hang out there it's very very fluid just like me um we're gonna be doing i'm gonna be bottoming all all evening <laughs> and so um, we're actually gonna have if you look up um anonymous ass play porn on pornhub they have a thing where the guys sit and it's like their their top half is behind a screen and the bottom uh -huh. half is legs up joey's gonna be doing that at the Bradford. Poppy we don't need a there. fella to be there. Any lady can go in. You just stick a My finger. My father's going to be there. We're he gonna is? Have to, we're, yeah, we're going to have to airlift her out of there. He's sleeping in the room with you. Remember how drunk he got at your birthday? How fun that was? Yeah. He got very drunk. We all got very drunk. It's going to be a blast. I hope there's a good turnout. I think they'll show up, there's, right? There's, there's going to be a great turnout. Yeah. There's, 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 there can't fit that many, though. So every, if you kept, get you got to get there early. early. And make sure to make a reservation. Go to... Um, PausePartyPig.com. No, go on Resi. It's an app. Go on Resi app and make a reservation or just go to... Um, are you doing an entrance? Are we doing an entrance? I'm being lifted up from the ceiling. If you go to um, the Bradford Rooftop on Back Instagram, you can book it, uh, book it through there. And um, yeah, there's that. And also our it's tickets are on gig. sale. We're doing a hosting gig. She's hosting. We're, um, she's also, hosting. our live show is coming up July 16th. Don't make plans for that. That's a Saturday, July 16th. We're going to be at the Sony Hall. Um, Trish is tonight's first live show. Come one, come all. Tickets are on sale now. VIP set, um, uh, meet and greets are on sale now. We're going to have merch. We're going to have surprise guests. We're going to have explosions. We're going to have gifts. And if you want um, an autograph. Panty shields. Panty shields only. That's the only thing we're signing while we're there. Only panty shields. We're going to bring out. Who are we bringing out? Billy Football. Billy Football is going to be out. Yeah. There. Billy Football is going to be performing or uh, performing oral on the stage to any lucky lady. We're going to choose five women to get oral by Billy Football. Yeah, Where content can get, Kim is going to be there. Um, 
she's going to be handing out cookies laced with THC. Yep. And then who else do we have coming? Is Mr. Porno coming? Mr. Porno, he's going to be our opening act. He'll open for <laughs> us. And tickets are actually good. They're actually going pretty Marty, good. Marty, where can you get tickets from? Uh... Barstoolsports.com slash events slash out and about. Uh, it'll be a big link that says Goon Fest. Just click that. And you'll go take you right to it. Oh, did you hear about, <laughs> did you hear about in Idaho, like the U-Haul truck full of people that tried to interrupt a pride parade? You know what happened? Was, uh -huh. it, was it our friends? It was great. So you're never going to believe this, but <laughs> was driving the truck. <laughs> she threw a truck, uh, threw a truck through a uh, love. A bunch of people, right? Yeah. No. Oh, God. No, there was a pride. Of, what are you doing on your phone? Nothing. Oh, here it is. No, so you're looking at porn. No, not. So if you want to get tickets to our show, um, you can text um, and just send a dick pic and they'll read a free ticket. Now, that's Sandra's number. Correct. Great. So can we bleep bleep only the last digit? That way she yeah. does get some phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> and that way she gets some phone calls. And fellas, if you run into her on the street, let me tell you. She's hot and bothered. She's horny and she's ready to, uh, she's ready to lower the mask. She's ready to lower the mask. Or, you know, she's actually going to keep it on. She'll just cut a hole <laughs> <laughs> for continuity purposes. Well, this has been lovely. Um, now stick around because right after this commercial break, we are going to see Colton Marie Haynes, misunderstood, Miss, 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 Miss Memoir. Miss Memoir. No, Miss Memory Lane. Lane. Miss Memory Lane herself will be here to spill the tea. All right, everyone, we are here with Colton Haynes, who is talking about his new book, Miss Memory Lane, a memoir. Now, that was your drag name, correct? It was. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, here we go. Get yeah. right up on it that. It definitely mic. was. I mean, um, thank you for being here. Thank you for I feel like we. Me. I feel like we're being punked. Like, it's such a star like yourself being here at our little show. Oh, I'm very, I'm very um, impressed. Oh, my God. Elton John gave a forward. He did. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're yeah. thrilled. We're thrilled to have you. We um, we got the book pretty late, so we weren't able to read it cover to cover, but we were able to pick up some excerpts and it was a heavy read. It oh, was. Yeah. It's a lot heavier than these excerpts that are coming out because yeah. people have not been focusing on like that yes. stuff. But it's so that's why I always warn people. I'm like, yeah, I hope I'm not the reason why every gay person checks into a men like mental facility because <laughs> I, I'm we got our own checked in years. We got our own reasons. Because uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very sad. But yeah, it's definitely you said it was the hardest thing you've ever wrote. Yeah. It was how long did it take? Two years. Oh my god! It was almost three freaking years. Three years, and, and you're only 33 years old, yeah, right? So you started I I did like, research. Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm 73. But like, you hear all these fucking people, these other celebrities on their tours, they're like, yeah. Oh, you know, I I went to my chalet in Aspen and <laughs> wrote, wrote on a typewriter and drank tea. I'm like, that's yeah. not what the fuck. No, I you're in yeah. Weehawken, so window with I, like, succulent. I cried in the valley, <laughs> yeah. literally. Yeah, it was it was yeah. But luckily, I got to step away from it, and I really no. I mean, I did touch. I know I read. I know a lot of the story, and I read through it. I thumbed through it. I found it more exciting. I like the juicy gossip type thing. So there's oh, a lot, yes. there's a lot of like you know like like stories, and I saw the people quoting the horrible things people said to you, and like how you were treated yeah. on set and things like that. So like I I love all that because like for the shadiness of the other people. Of course, I feel you know you know for what you went through. It's like it's very heavy, and it's it's you know it's the truth. And I'm glad people, it's, you know, kids need to hear this and yeah. see this. It definitely, and that's the thing is, I think that with with some of the things that are coming out, people are focusing on like one line that I wrote in the book. Well, they the want book, the, they want the, the click. Line. That's yeah. all it is. They want the click, and they want. I get it. Which is I the line everyone's talking about. Yeah. yeah, and then it's it's that that's the one thing that people are talking about, and they're going to get the book, and they're going to be like. This is not what I, this isn't at all what I thought it was. Yeah. So, but at least if they get the book, that's fine. Yeah. Can you just explain yeah. like f for the people who are going to buy the book and people who haven't heard even that it's out, can you explain like at what point in your life you started the book and then is it up till present day and you go through everything, all the, the drinking, the boozing, the drugging, oh, the yeah. sleeping, all I, of that. It, yeah. And I, I don't hold back, especially when it comes to like a lot of the childhood kind of sexual stuff. That's that was very going brave. On really, really and, brave. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And I, but I had this like life when I was, I was a very, um, as a teen, I was very, I was out from like 14 till I went, moved to LA when I was 17. So, mm -hmm. and I also worked, I was a go-go boy at a bar called Big Daddy's. Oh yeah. And, um, and so I had this like fun kind of freedom that I had. And then when I moved to LA, I- This is in, was, this is in Kansas? This is in Kansas. I worked you at You were go-go dancing in Kansas? Yeah, yeah I In at, Kansas? Yeah, in Kansas. I worked at a bar so, called- Did Westboro Daddy's. Baxter's ever show up at your go-go dancing job? We want them to protest us were, so bad. They won't really? do it. We they asked. We, we'll pay them. We invited them to protest and they said- I was impressed. I'm shocked they weren't waiting outside when I- Oh, I would have loved it. Yeah, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for I would have voked to, in front of them. Yeah, I would have joined you. I would have joined you. I would have done a death drop. Yeah. Right for Pride Month to march- That's what the leader does, Cindy Lou Who. She does a death drop behind closed doors. Have you ever seen that pig of a woman with her long hair? No. She's awful. She's the worst. She sings God Hates 
Because that's the one with the famous, oh, you know she's what I'm talking composer. about, right? I don't. The one okay. her name's Cindy Lou Who? Well, no, that's the one from The Grinch. But I know, we call I like, her what? Cindy Lou Who. Yeah, yeah. But you were in Wichita. You were go go dancing, which yeah. seems to like such a crazy thing to do. What year was this? Because we're about 14, the same. Fourteen. So I'm fourteen. Like, yeah. Go go dancing. I, I I slept with a guy and stole his ID. Get it, so girl. I could so I could work. <laughs> Get it, girl. Yeah. And so yeah, and she's I used, a hustler. Yeah. yeah. I, she I, will I, hustle. I did what I had to do. And so yeah. I definitely. love that though. Yeah. That, that that entrepreneurship. I know like it's taboo, but I but that's what was inspiring about your story that you were, I mean you were you were doing the damn thing since you know you were young. You know, and then I had to like uh, lock it all up back in the closet when I moved to LA. And now I'm just not wanting to be this kind of cookie cutter thing that I was made into be. Um, yeah. And you know, I if I would have been, you know, uh, you've been through you know, a lot. Your skin doesn't look like it though. You look great. I, I was going to say, how does this happen? I don't, yeah, I sleep no. till noon and I look like shit. Yeah. He's working she's like been, a goddamn. She's been through it. I've yeah. been on, I had TV stuff all morning, and so they've definitely made me. Yeah, made me feel not as exhausted. No, as but you like you've yeah. lived many lives. Yeah. I, I have yeah. too. You know, I used to be, I used to be on the home shopping network in Russia for it's many years. It's not about you, Joey. Oh, the interview is not is about real? you. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. half the time, I don't know what the fuck you guys are fucking serious. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I'm serious. No, that's a we're serious thing. We're talking about thing. Cindy Lou Who and doing yeah. death, and then we got death drops succul- in front of the You're talking the about OnlyFans and succulents. I need to get back into that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Wait, yeah. but I want to bring it back. 14 years <laughs> old. Yeah. 14, we'll go the back book to reality. Yell at us. For a brief moment, we'll go back to reality. No, they're 14 years old. Go, go dancing. You sleep with a guy. You steal his ID. And then, and then what? Then I, that I just, you know. Wait, wait, did you have, did you like have to get like the guys, did you have to like go to MDMV and pretend you were that guy to get a fresh ID? Well, I, yeah, I definitely like saw him and was like, I can. Pass like, for him. Yeah. I was looking for an ID because all of the, I was in a musical theater company and all the, the company boys were older. Do you remember what oh, your, so you were do really, remember, yeah. do you remember yeah. what your code theater. name was, what your, your alias was? I remember exactly what his name is. Stop. Let it rip. I okay. can't say well, it because can we bleep it's his it? name. Don't say it. No, no, no. no, no because no. then they say you're going to bleep it. Oh, we would never do that. I always bleep it. But. So was that, did you find that was your alter ego? Like for a long time, how long did you keep up the facade of this, uh, this persona? I used that fucking ID until I was, until I turned 21 in LA. So I was, we don't look anything alike. <laughs> and show so, me your fake ID. But you know, I don't have one, but you know what? The thing is g- growing up like that, looking the way you do, and, and especially in the gay world, you could get away with anything. Well, that's the thing. You can get away with murder being that cute. You could get away with go-go dancing at 14. 14 yeah. 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 It definitely, you can, and that, that was the issue was. You know, once I kind of realized that people had seen that my beauty was my only currency and the only thing that no, I it wasn't. Was you had much more inside that you weren't ready to share yet. But, but that's and, probably what you. Th- that's and, probably yeah. your condition to think. Yeah, and that's in feeling that way. Really, it it kept a lot of a lot in for me, and therefore that's why I love that they didn't censor me when I was talking about the book. And, I like yeah. it too. You know, I've I've read other things, and this one I just really go into the dark kind of. No one does that, and sexual, I love that. It's yeah. very you're, juicy. Yeah. You're unafraid. We open up to you can open up to any page in this book. So have a juicy read, and you get a juicy read. Before this, we were flip we were thumbing through before you came yeah. in and it was like every line is yeah. like he's a real dick, dick hog it said <laughs> what did that lady say about you colton's a real dick magnet or dick hog i, f- I forget the page was on but I can, I like, i'm excited for this I'm like, now i'm gonna say that no. yeah. Yeah. yeah so your publisher, i'm excited to sit down and read this your publisher yeah, lets you insane. have kind of free run to write whatever you want and to do whatever yeah i just tell made, every story i had i had the opportunity in the past to like i've been off, offered to write and i i didn't I needed to be at a, a point in my life where I knew that I could do it and that I could do it. I I had to be in, com- in complete control over it because it's hard whenever you you kind of have other people working with you and they don't quite understand what you've been through. Mm-hmm. And so that's why it took me so fucking long because yeah. I, I had to keep extending my my dates because it was only supposed to take a year and a half, but it took double. So, um, yeah. So, so you came out at 14 to yeah. family and friends. You didn't come out publicly. Um, as an actor until when? 2016. How did you keep it a secret this whole time? Well, I kind of didn't because I, yeah. after it, after the 14 year old thing at 16, well, I was 15 going on 16. Yeah. Um, I got approached on MySpace to shoot the cover of XY magazine. Oh yeah. Yes. I was Which, on, I was yeah. on. Were you? I was on the cover as well. That's you where were? you pose with your with your ass out on your stomach, right? No, no, no. That's that what was Bear I was magazine. wrestling. Oh, HX wrestling. Bear magazine. It was yeah. HX magazine. What? We're, we're going to pull this up for the view. Yeah. yeah. HX magazine, <laughs> which was like a local New York um you know, paper, but XY magazine, yeah. that's a bigger mag that's national. Well, and it was just this awesome opportunity. And, and I hadn't really grown into like, I didn't know what the business was about. I thought yeah. it was going to be something that could like help my career. Right. Then, but, like, what happened? You got there and had to take your underwear off. Uh, well, then I got there and I, I was really, <laughs> I loved being kind of that free, you know, like kid. But then whenever I moved to LA, I was told that was wrong. And then I basically had to have a team of people covering that up. Yeah. But it was still floating around on the internet. And so what that message was sending to people was like, you know what, you can't be yourself. 
Right. And I know that now, but I yeah. understand that there was obviously the backlash with that. And so really with unpacking my own bullshit and like the problems that I was contributing towards a lot of things. Um, yeah, I was able to like come up with you, a lot of un unpacking a lot. Do you both. think that you'd get be where you are in your career today um, if you were out the entire time in your acting career? At 100% not. I, yeah. I, my career, I had to completely pivot and I, I basically like lost, you know, and I know that, you know, this can sound like excuses, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But I mean, I, literally overnight, I lost every opportunity yeah. that I, that I had. It's horrible. For me. That's and, so yeah. crazy. We spoke to Colton Underwood about that as well with his career and mm -hmm. his, his uh, sports career and everything. And, you know, it's, it's something that, you know, it's making a deal with the devil in a way. It's like, you know, you know that you had, you know, you can't be yourself and get what you want. Yeah. But now, 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 you now I get to like, you know, kind of go against that and be like, you know what, if, you know, I think if they wanted to shut me up for as long as they wanted to, and now I get to like, I'm focusing on myself and focusing on the people who I can help with my story. Right. Yeah. Um, and I'm really not focused on like what fucking stupid producer wants to hire me or not. So, so you had, you had people actively telling you on your team, do not come out. It's putting gonna, me in it's gonna ruin everything. In movement for the actor classes, putting me in speech therapy classes to fix my lisp. Oh, uh, they would have thrown me out. I would have failed yeah. out horribly. Yeah, but I think I just, I, I had grown up in not really, you know, I just had felt like I didn't belong and I was going to do whatever I could to kind of like chase my dreams. Yeah. And also like all that bullshit and like negativity helped me, fuel, it fueled my fire. But then, you know, kind of led to my, you know, downfall. But I was a huge part of that. Well, that's well. a character you had to play. Yeah. I mean, you were, you still are, you know, a teen heartthrob. I mean, teen anymore, wolf. But yeah. But, you know, oh, the Sandra women, the women, like Sandra was smitten. She, you, all she the had a poster here. of you on her ceiling yes. from it's, Teen Wolf. And it's underneath her mask. She pulls it up and she looks yeah, she right looks at, at it. it. Yeah. Um, so I, how was that? That's yeah, a role. That's essentially it. a role yeah. you played. It was you know, playing that heartthrob. But how far did you fade, fade into it to like not crush these girls' dreams or to play that, that, that sexy heartthrob in Hollywood? Like how, how uncomfortable was that for you? I, it was, Am I a journalist? This, I think you are. <laughs> I know. I'm like, yeah. what the hell is going on? I've never seen her talk like this. That's about Barbara over here. She's yeah, literally- This Barbara. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Barbara Cabasta. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you a lesbian? Yeah. I, Come out, you know, people, people always, I'm not even kidding. People always have, I've been mistaken for Ruby, like Ruby Rose before. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, she's, mis yeah. she's misgendered. Um, hmm. Maybe. Oh, wow. So, that was also your drag name. Yeah. Misgendered. Misgendered. <laughs> um, when do you think I should come out? It's Pride today. This is the first day of Pride. Month. I don't know if Do I'm ready. Wanna, you're not ready. I don't know, girl. Is this? <laughs> you have to edit this out. Yeah, because then like you won't be able to. You have to give a really emotional story. I know. I'll think of something. Is this yeah. a, was this book part of your way like being like, all right, I'm writing the book. I'm getting this all out of my system. No, I don't want to fucking talk about it anymore. You're like, I want to move on. I want to start a new chapter in my life. Here's my trauma. Here's my story. It's here. Now let's start doing other things. Or was you know, this? It would be nice if that was the case. You yeah. Know? Now I'm just seeing. You know. Now it's like pride so let's have the gay book of the month to talk about gay 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 it's, yeah, the, it's yeah. that meg uh, stalter it's the meg stalter like we're hey, over gay. it already yeah, yeah we're over it already and so yeah. it's also it's only, it's, it's, it's only 2 45 in the afternoon yeah, yeah. it's 2 45 on june 1st yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like we'll have him come on we don't want to pay him for anything because we don't pay for gay but you um, timed the yeah. release of it with yeah. pride obviously like that's smart you know i at first I, I was just happy that to get it done well i'm happy i'm so proud of it now and i know it's like everyone said but this is like the best thing i've ever done with my life yeah and so, yeah, I'm just really happy that it definitely timed out that way. And, yeah. Fun. Well, what other projects are you working on now that the book is done? Or are you just going to take some time to relax? We just finished last week. Maybe you'll be excited. We just finished the Team Wolf movie. Stop. Oh, yes. my God. It, what, Can we come to the premiere? You probably don't even watch Team Wolf, no, right? Okay. Yeah, th you, I thought you guys were lying. No, she's like, no, she, no, she's, she's, like, she's, like she's like, he's not even a wolf. He's the bad guy. I'm yeah. She was yeah. so offended. Yeah. We just finished the movie for Paramount Plus. So it'll be. <gasps> oh, get out of here. Are you still um, with Paramount Plus over there? Um, we just moved over. I guess they because it was with MTV, but I think they- We'll be working, yeah. life. I'm uh, very close to the whole team over there, the whole PR team over there. So okay. I'll probably- I'll Name probably dropping Jelly, here he goes. <laughs> Have you done any press for it yet? We just finished last week, I haven't done okay. anything. Oh, yeah, it'll be up, it'll You'll be, be working with my friends, this, that's funny. Yeah. So I wonder- Paramount Plus is great. Is it like Amanda and Katie? Something? No, no, it's probably Joyer. Oh, actually, I, I know Amanda and Chuckles. Katie. So. Yeah, she knows Amanda. They're and Katie. really close. I'm ahead of like Joey's kind of friends. With people here, I'm more like <laughs> here my kind of people. But this inner, you guys' energy is amazing. I Thank you. This is a step. Of, well, yeah. it's it's it's, uh, it's I was, altered. I was <laughs> I was laying on this altered. I'm like, what are you guys? Yeah, on I did right pill pop. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> I just have my regular pills. My, my high blood pressure and my <laughs> cholesterol um, cholesterol medicine. That's really. Yeah. I'm on a couple. No, maybe a little mood stabilizer. No, forget you. Those were the days. What was your drug of choice when you were? Um, using you loved Adderall, didn't you? I read that. I think I loved attention more than anything. I think that's yeah. a bit bigger drug. But I think yeah. Adderall. You can get um, addicked to that. Attention. Okay. attention. <laughs> yeah. Is that what my when, addiction is? When you're an addict, you basically I become addicted to everything. Yeah. And so that's something I have to like look after. But I think um, 
really, I just, I mean, let's be real. It, I say Adderall, but it was everything. It was cocaine. It you was, were blowing coke it was way and more drinking than a lot of doing things. All of yeah. That. yeah. But, you know, trying to, yeah, not, I had to take a lot of, yeah, I, I had to take like basically a third of this book out. That's what because, we're going to, that's on our question list. Oh yeah. Did you have to, what did you, what did you have to leave out? Oh, some stuff. I basically was trying my hardest to not get sued. Yeah. Uh, Cause I've been sued so many times and I basically. Same as Sandra. Yeah. <laughs> Well, hers is stalking related. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. she was the one outside your bushes, actually, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> peering like this, like the guy in a home improvement. No, I mean, there, there's some out there. No, but I definitely it was this this thing where, you know, word had went around that I was writing a book and people that have wronged me definitely were. Oh, well, like, don't you dare their, save your, say shit about me. Yeah. And like, you know, it, it's just to the point where uh, like I'm over that. But I. Yeah. If you write a sequel, yeah. um, me and her are going to send you a cease and desist not to say anything about yeah. us. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> when this, we're, when coming, this, we're coming for those pockets, babe. When, when, this, right? when this comes when this out. This is a bestseller, yeah. okay? No. And then I'm trying to vacation to Italy. <laughs> so. Yeah, when this comes yeah. out, I'll have, you yeah, guys man. will have a lot of you know, ammunition on me. But you know, what I, you know what I admire about, about the book is that it's so real and it's so raw. And the way that you talk about coming out and sexuality and yeah. sex in yeah. general is yeah. so is something that a lot of people in the community don't talk about. And I think mm -hmm. what and being sexual at, in your own right from a young age, not just yeah. the horrible things that happened with you prior to that, you know, yeah. you know, it gives these kids say that don't, don't be ashamed that I'm sexual and I, I can, and I, am, you know, well, attracted to men or whatever it is. It's like hiding your, hiding your sexuality. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. honest. And that's what we try and do here is we talk about things honestly, you know, yeah. gay men like sex. And a lot of times that comes with, that's paired with like and a drama. lot of, and drama, a lot yeah. of negative behavior, a lot of addiction, a lot of trauma, a lot of depression. And so you cover it all in this book, which we really do I think because that's such a huge part. Like we, that's such, people just identify us at, with like being this fun, kind of always like everyone's fucking each other and party yeah. pig bottoms. Yeah. Basically, yeah. That's, that's what they do say. Piggy uh, bottoms. Pass around party pig. Pack around party pig. <laughs> and you know what? Like that is to each their, that is, <laughs> that's how I we celebrate. Marty. I said, it's, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Marty. Too. We met Marty the in the story rambles. that Marty told us at the, at the cock. That's what. Really yes. Marty. Yes. Yeah. You met Marty yeah. at the cock. He, was in, a. he yeah. was in the sling yeah. in Avenue A. Yes. Yeah. The Blacked out on poppers. Glory hold number two, yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, on, Colton. So I'm sorry. I, I didn't want. I didn't want to air your shit out. He was just, he's been awkward yeah. this whole time. But we like, have to cut Sandra. We have to. We cut can't this just part. literally come after Sandra the whole time. I'm surprised you recognize yeah. him because he had the mask with just the mouth hole. No, yeah. it was, <laughs> was very, I can hear his voice from yeah, the, the, the moans, the laugh. Right. <laughs> yeah, it was. It has a nice tone to it. Um, so, so but uh, so yeah, I got sidetracked, but that was fun. I that know. Part. <laughs> but that was uh, that was a night we all remember. We all wish we forgot. Thank. Thank you yeah. so much for coming. You were going to say something. Teen Wolf, um, the, the movie's coming out on Paramount Plus. Looking forward to that. Your book is out. Um, do you want to follow each other on Instagram now and be friends? Where's my phone? Me and you. That lady has it probably. Where is my phone? <laughs> oh, she took oh, it's it. right here. Okay. How do we? This is really like I'm not, You can't leave until you press the button. You have to. You have to I already do follow you. I did Where it today. It? And then she started this thing. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, this is um, questions. So. Colton Haynes right, just followed that. Colton Haynes. How do we get? Oh wait, I have to, to do it. Wait, I'll I have it. to unblock you. Yeah, That's I, so I didn't mean to say that about you the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that you're friends. How do you know my friend Nick? My friend Nick Ferroni. We grew yeah, up together. Yeah, you're talking about that. Liter Nick, I've known Nick forever, and like what he he lived up. He grew up behind my house. His our houses were behind each other. We grew up to high, middle we, school, high school, elementary together. We met a while back. I think. Do you think he's gay? I don't, but I also, if that were to be the case, I would be very. I don't happy think he is either for him. But, but yeah. like you know, we've grown, we've grown up since we were babies together. Is he hot? Yes, he's beautiful. Oh my god, he's literally he's gorgeous. He's the hottest cool. teacher in the yeah. world. Oh, Nick he's a Ferroni. teacher. Yeah, he's yeah. teacher at my at my high school. I never Marty, met him. Marty talks you? about him all the time. Marty, yeah. <laughs> like literally, Marty. Marty talks <laughs> about yeah. Marty. Marty likes Marty likes a, a burly a burly I'm sorry, man. Marty. Oh, he he loves it. Please call him. I'm sorry, but yeah, Nick. He. He was just, um, we no, met no. and then we've just always kind of Shall kept a great conversation. I think we met, this is going to sound so stupid. It has something to do with like People Magazine. Um, oh yeah, Sexiest Man Alive. Sexiest we Teacher Alive. We were doing something with like that issue and I think that's how we met. That's but, so funny. I saw you're yeah. following him. I said, that's my friend Nick from high school. Small yeah. world. Yeah, I mean, he's literally always the sexiest teacher alive. Yeah, he is. He's really incredible. Yeah, he does a lot of, he does a lot of um, charity work. It's, wait, so you all grew up in- um, Union, New Jersey. Why do you okay. follow my dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have still I'm still <laughs> dealing with some daddy issues. <laughs> da daddy daycare. Sorry. Yeah. Daddy daycare. Yeah. That's so yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. We, we grew up together since we were babies. He lived at our house right behind my house, and we are our families are friends. I'll be in New Jersey tomorrow. Oh yeah. We're going Fun. to also. I I don't. I'm not good at geography. I'm going to Ridgewood. Ridgewood. That's where large. I'm going to bookends. Large yeah, bookends. our guy here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I I don't have a book, but my friends do, and I, we <laughs> bookends is very a very big. Um, 
So you're doing a signing? Uh, signing. I'm doing yeah. a signing there. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, fuck. Is that today? That's today. Oh, oh fuck. Well, that's tonight. So this is in the yeah. past yeah. for those of you who uh, have watched. Yeah. <laughs> he was there and he's gone. <laughs> Literally, the, my schedule is so packed. I'm not good with having two things on the schedule. Yeah. Now I've. 50. What else do you have the so, rest of the day? Anything else? Fun? Nothing funner than us. Literally, if I I wish I knew, or I would tell you. Yeah, right? I have, they literally <laughs> cart me. They put me in the car. And when said, you heard about Barstool Sports, did you say like, what the hell am I going there for? Did you know it was a safe space? We were so thrilled that you so, said to, that you said we were going to come here. I told everyone I was like, you know what? At this point, I I want to talk to everybody, but also I, I have to be completely honest. I watched your guys' stuff. When did I, you? When oh when God! I, when did I you found, get aroused? When I I I. I we can't talk about okay, that. Okay, sorry. Sorry. I'm still, we, got the, we got the note yeah, from Talent. I'm glad that there's, there's, I'm glad that there's a PR. table here. so they can see. <laughs> It's going to rise. Uh, yeah. It will but, rise. Yeah. But I, I watched some of your, y'all stuff and then also, I don't know too much about, I don't know if we're able to talk about. Yeah, we can the, talk about anything. The podcast that, that is no longer here. Daddy, call, her call her daddy? Call her daddy? Yeah. 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 Oh, we, we can allowed, talk about I, that. I, I we're just, the new call her daddy. That's what everyone's yeah. saying. That's And that's why I decided to come up to No, But so I know a little bit about that, but that's really all I know about. Oh, good. So well, well, it's a bunch all- of hot straight boys. We'll bring you around. Show the interns. Yeah, we'll, yeah perfect. We'll show you the intern. <laughs> Joey brings it back to 1982. Intern. We'll show you the interns. Like, yeah. come here and do that TikTok dance. I can't, with no I can't be involved in the hazing of it all because this no, is, yeah. I know. Yeah. Uh, uh, did you ever move on? Are you dating at all now? Or are you still, oh. still on the market? I would rather. You're not even looking. You're so busy. I'm sure you're, you're so, so busy. busy. It's like you no. don't want to. I just would rather. Um, uh, I would rather. Crawl into, get shot at in an open field. I just do not. I can't imagine waking up and like smelling someone's morning breath or like, oh, I, no. like I don't want to meet someone your, in your house. I want to meet your friend. I, yeah, what's that? I don't want to meet your that, friend. This like, is me. It's Whoopi. This is me. Whoopi said she's like, I don't want someone Name in my dropping. house. It's <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. And I'm like, Whoopi, I'm, who's that? No, I heard it. I, I heard <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, That's yeah. why she when she has had a partner, she would they slept in separate houses. I'm the same way. That's so great. Especially living in New York City, like it's close quarters. No, so you no would want a guy chained up in your basement who could never leave. Yeah, but I don't Is want him in my bed. Right. Now? right. <laughs> yeah. Is that happening for Pride? Well, we'll see. Okay. If I if I can get to the blue fingers store, crossed. By, by, fingers crossed. Fingers yeah. crossed. <laughs> get to the blue Marty, store fingers by noon. Yeah, I definitely am not dating. I I don't think I want to put anyone through that. And I also need to take space for myself. Yeah. And I it's. It's not easy to, you know, um, I just am not interested. It, yeah. It's the it's, last yeah. thing I'm thinking Same of. Same girl. And I think it's safe for the other person and also safe for me. So, yeah. I you got to take yeah. care of your, your mental health and uh, get yourself right before yes. you start dating. You got to be in oh, a good place. I honestly, like, can't imagine that ever happening again. My mental health will. What's get, your sign? You know, I'm a cancer. Oh. Yeah. What's y'all's? Krabby Patty. I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> I'm Capricorn. very controlling. Oh, yeah. I'm a Leo. Oh, I don't know what that my means. Your thirst, just your thirst monster. Yeah, a thirst monster. You're a, you're like a succubus. Yeah. A succubus. Yeah. In more way than one. Yeah. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing for Pride? Are you going to come on our float with us? We have a massive float, Chevy Silverado, in oh. the uh, Pride Thank Parade, you, New York Pride Parade. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when are you going to do WeHo Pride? I, I, I. You're not doing it all sure. of it. Yeah. yeah, it's. it's, not, it's I'm going to be in Ottawa working for a month. Oh, fun, Canada. Um, yeah, Canada. Mm-hmm. Are you, do you have any weird um, dietary dietary needs? You're always safe and fit. Are you a vegan? I am definitely not. I eat. I What's eat, your favorite thing to eat besides pussy? I eat. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's been besides a, dick, dear. Yeah, besides dick. <laughs> God, I don't remember what that's like. Uh, but I, 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 um, I had a bag of donuts last night. Oh, Ooh. sweet! You like sweets? I love just. I'm basically like I, I'm from Kansas, and like not all people from Kansas. Oh like yeah, it, but I definitely have. I love just garbage food. So, yeah, 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 I hear you. And okay. so I just don't take care of myself. Uh, well, you clearly. look great. Yeah, I appreciate. Thank you. It's it's Red Bull and um, yeah, and yeah, donuts and so. nicotine occasionally. Yeah. So <laughs> no. there needs to be no, more nicotine involved in this trip yeah. because yeah, it's stressful. I, yeah. Well, we're so glad that you yes. came here, and we're so glad that you decided to stop by and promote your book, Colton Haynes, yeah, yeah. Miss, Miss Memory Lane, Lane a yeah. memoir. Um, they can, I'm sure, buy it on Amazon. They can buy it in bookstores. Where else can we find it? You can find it. it also, the audio on the table is out. outside yeah. of um, Penn Station. <laughs> there actually is. I just found out there's a billboard in uh, an Amazon billboard in Penn Station that I think we're going Stop, to. Stop! Have fun. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. So that's cool. It's I'm going like to throw a things at it. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? No. Well, yeah. like thank I you said, for coming. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for coming. Thank and for like I said, this is a very important story, a very great yeah. read for people of all ages. A um, little bit X-rated at times, but it's real. It's raw. That's why we appreciate yeah. it and we yeah. love it so much. So again, thank, thank you. you for coming. Follow Colton Haynes on Instagram um, and any other any other social media where we can find you. Or is that pretty much it? Um, I you in the TikTok game? Well, I tried, but then I realized I'm like I'm 35 trying to do a TikTok. Yeah, I'll break dance. a hip. But I, I try. I, there, I am on TikTok, but I need to be better at it. I am 
I need to be better at social media in general, but yeah. Hire Sandra, so, she'll, she'll, she'll knock yeah. it out of the park for you. Well, Please thank do. you so much yeah. for coming. Thank you for coming. We, we hope thank you, you stop for back. providing the, like a light in my press tour. <laughs> yes. Cause yeah, so, <laughs> so this was really fun. Yeah. yeah. And we got to make fun of Marty and Sandra. Yeah. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. Thanks guys.